Welcome to our IEEE ICRA 2020 talk on providing adaptive grasping navigation and co-manipulation behaviors to humanoid robots using dynamical system-based motion generation approaches. An overarching goal in robotics is to deploy humanoid robots that can interact and aid humans in our everyday lives. We strive for a robotic assistant that is capable of picking and placing heavy objects, carrying objects with a human or with another robot, and even navigating in dynamic environments while carrying or even pushing these objects. Now, while many approaches exist to tackle specific sub-problems involved in these tasks, we argue that to successfully deploy such robots should inherently be adaptive during task and motion planning and compliant during task execution. By adaptive task and motion planning, we refer to the ability of the robots to generate online motion plans that are reactive to changes in the environment or task. By compliance during task execution, we refer to the ability of the robot to allow and recover from physical perturbation. In these previous works, we provided the desired functionalities, that is, adaptivity and compliance, to robotic systems with one or two arms for pick and place and handover tasks. So we thought, can we extend these ideas and approaches to provide a humanoid robot with the same functionalities? In order to do so, we need to tackle certain challenges which are the main contribution of this work. We will begin by describing the key approaches from previous works, and then we will dive into how these were applied to humanoid robots. In our previous work, we achieve adaptive and reactive behaviors as the motion of the robots and defectors is driven by time invariant autonomous dynamical systems, which are nothing but first order differential equations that define the evolution of a state variable x with respect to a target x star. Compliance is achieved by using an impedance control law for a torque control robot that allows for perturbations while ensuring convergence to the target defined by the dynamical system. For this dual arm task, we drive the motion of the two arms also with the dynamical system. In this case, the dynamical system couples the motion of the two arms via a virtual object that tracks the location and motion of the real object. In these works, we were capable of providing the desired functionalities by having a tight coupling between two main ingredients, mainly dynamical system-based motion generators for adaptivity and compliant control laws formulated as impedance controllers for torque control robots, we have to propose a whole body adaptive motion planning approach, which uses dynamical systems to generate both the motion of the arms and of the base of the robot. To the best of our knowledge, such an approach does not exist in literature. Additionally, we need a whole body compliant control strategy that is capable of recovering from perturbations during manipulation and locomotion. Recent works have provided compliance and recovery schemes for torque control humanoid robots using impedance control laws and exploiting their natural dynamics. However, in this work, we seek to provide such compliance to position control ro humanoid robots, such as the ICUB from IIT. By whole body adaptive motion planning with dynamical systems, we split the problem into manipulation and locomotion with two decoupled dynamical systems. For manipulation, we formulate a grasping dynamical system, which we call GRASP-DS, that generates coordinated velocities for both hands to grasp the object in synchrony. For locomotion, we formulate a walking dynamical system, which we call WALK-DS, that generates velocities for the base of the, of the robots to reach a target or to follow a specific path. The GRASP-DS is an extension of previous work that formulates a virtual object to drive coordinated motion of two hands. In this work, we extend this approach to track both the position of the object and the orientation with dynamics formulated in quaternion representation. Additionally, both of these dynamical systems are proven to be globally asymptotically stable towards their targets. To follow the desired hand motion generated by the grasp BS, we propose to use an inverse kinematic solver for position control which ensures balance and guarantees kinematic limits. This solver is an extension of previous work on singularity to tolerant inverse kinematics. To properly grasp and hold objects and provide a compliance at the arm level, 
we formulate a control law that tracks the desired position and contact force when grasping. The green rectangle illustrates the virtual object that will track the real object outlined in red. Here we see the eye cup being driven by this dynamical system. Even when the real object is moving, the virtual object tracks it in both position and orientation. The efficient inverse kinematic solver that we use allows us to track fast moving objects. If the object is not reachable, the robot goes to a standing posture. The walk DS can have any shape or form, as long as it gives velocities to the low level walking controller. In our case, we choose target oriented dynamical system. To achieve compliant and adaptive walking, we couple the walk DS with a time projection foot stepping controller proposed in previous work. In this method, the robot naturally steps in place by regulating the center of mass. Locomotion is achieved when the robot is physically pushed or pulled or by shifting the center of mass. By giving the desired velocity from the walk DS as a reference shift to the center of mass, the controller then naturally generates motions to achieve that velocity. Furthermore, with this controller, the robot behaves like a damper in the environment stepping along external forces until they disappear. Now, in order to achieve a task of picking an object, the robot should know when to switch between the walk DS and the grasp DS. To achieve this, we propose the following state machine switching strategy. If the object is not reachable, the robot walks towards it by following the walk DS. Once a feasible grasp is reached, the robot stops walking and moves to a stand-up posture. Once the stand-up posture is reached, the robot starts grasping the object by following the grasp DS. If the object is no longer feasible, the robot switches to the walking controller and starts walking towards the object's new location and so forth. If the robot is far from the object, the walk DS is activated. As it reaches the object and the feasible grasp is available, it switches to the grasp DS. In this video, we show that with the same strategy, the robot is capable of, of adapting to changes in the target on the fly. Since the walking controller reacts to external push and pull forces, together with the compliant control loss implemented for the arms, we can achieve guided walking and co-manipulation between a robot and a human as shown in this video. Co-manipulation can also be achieved with two robots. In this case, we show a master and slave configuration in which one of the robots is following a desired velocity given by a dynamical system. The guided walking behavior allows us to then teach a robot a desired navigation behavior. For example, by collecting trajectories from the guided walking and learning a state-dependent dynamical system motion generator with approaches introduced in previous work. If we use this as our walk dynamical system in our whole body compliant control strategy, we can see that the robot is robust to physical perturbations. After perturbations from the human, it recovers and continues on with the path generated by the dynamical system. Once the object is reached, then the system switches to a grasping mode. Here we show another dynamical system shape to reach the object on the left and to be stiffer around the desired trajectory. We can see that after perturbation, the robot returns to the path without any disturbance or accumulated errors. Without any modification in our whole body compliant control strategy, we can use the same dynamical system for a different task in which we want the robot to push a cart along the path. As shown, if the objects introduced to the cart are lightweight, the robot continues walking. However, heavier objects slow down the robot in its forward motion. Finally, due to the whole body compliant control and motion planning strategy, we can control two robots independently to successfully co-manipulate an object with a learned dynamical system shaped from an example trajectory. In conclusion, by integrating dynamical system motion generators, with whole body compliant control strategies, 
we were capable of achieving unprecedented adaptive behaviors with a physician-controlled humanoid robot. Thank you very much for your attention.